Welcome, my beautiful people, to another episode of Dino Basics, where we dig up the basics on some of our favorite deceased beasts. My name is Logan, and today we'll be looking at the downright bizarre giant clawed creature of Asia. Thank you to Casey Kerr855 for today's topic, Therizinosaurus. Therizinosaurus was first discovered in 1948 as part of a paleontological expedition commissioned by the USSR Academy of Sciences to discover new fossils in the country of Mongolia. The original fossil was found in the Nemect Valley, an area of the Gobi Desert located in the previously mentioned Mongolia. The original fossil only consisted of three partial pieces of a claw, with the claw and phalange measuring almost a meter in length. Based on this claw, in 1954, Russian paleontologist Yevgeny Maliev would define a new genus and species, the Therizinosaurus chelaniformis. This new animal would be the only member of a new family, the Therizinosauridae. However, I say animal, as Maliev did not believe this new fossil was from a dinosaur. Instead, he believed it was actually a 15-foot-long turtle-like reptile, which used these giant claws to harvest seaweed. It wouldn't be until 1970 that Russian paleontologist Anatoly Rozhvedvensky would first suggest that Therizinosaurus was not a turtle, but instead a theropod dinosaur. While this would be closer to the truth, paleontologists like Rozhvedvensky believed Therizinosaurus was a Carnosaur, a group of carnivorous theropods that include dinosaurs like the Allosaurus. Further evidence toward this theropod belief would come about in 1973 when a nearly complete arm of Therizinosaurus was recovered, leading Mongolian paleontologist Rinchen Barsbold to conclude that based on the arms and recovered rib bones, that Therizinosaurus was almost undoubtedly a theropod. 1982 would bring about another breakthrough when a new specimen was recovered that included claws as well as leg bones. These leg bones were very similar to another recently discovered dinosaur, the Segnosaurus. Mongolian paleontologist Alton Gerald Perlet suggested that Therizinosaurus and Segnosaurus would share similar body types. Further studies, while arguing the extent of their similarities, largely agreed and finally gave scientists an idea of the size and shape of this unique dinosaur. The name Therizinosaurus translates from the Latin words therizo, referring to the scythe and more specifically to reap or cut, as well as soros for lizard, translating to scythe lizard, obviously in reference to its scythe-like claws. Its species name stems from the Latin words celoni for turtle and formis for shape, translating to turtle shape, referencing its early belief to be a species of turtle-like reptile. As previously mentioned, the Therizinosaurus is the namesake of its own family, the Therizinosauridae. If the Spinosauridae were the strangest family of carnivorous dinosaurs, the Therizinosauridae were certainly the strangest herbivores. Originally, Therizinosaurus was the only member of its family, until another family, the Segnosauridae, were combined, and the name Therizinosauridae remained due to seniority. The Therizinosauridae are distinct for their massive forelimbs and comparatively small skulls. Many were bipedal, and some were also capable of quadrupedal movement. Members of this family include the previously mentioned Segnosaurus, as well as other dinosaurs like the Nothronychus. Very few bones have been recovered of Therizinosaurus, mostly consisting of claws, leg bones, and ribs, so the exact size and shape of this dinosaur is not definitive. Based on estimates and comparisons to others in its family, Therizinosaurus was massive, at almost 16 feet tall and 33 feet long. It would have weighed between 3 to 5 tons, the average weight of an adult hippo. 
At this size, it would have been the largest member of its family. Similar to other Therizinosauridae, the arms of Therizinosaurus were enormous. They were almost 10 feet long, some of the largest arms of any bipedal dinosaur. These arms sported claws that were almost 4 feet in length, the largest claws to ever exist on an animal. When scientists believe Therizinosaurus to be a carnivorous carnosaur, these claws were assumed to be lethal weapons for hunting prey. However, many scientists believe Therizinosaurus were gentle giants in its time. So, what were these claws for? Various theories were proposed throughout the 1970s. Some argued they could be used for digging, to access termite mounds and prey on insects. Another theory argued they were used for defense, to slash oncoming predators. These theories would be put to the test in 2014 when paleontologist Stefan Lautenschlager performed various simulated scenarios to measure the strain on these claws in set conditions. The curvature and elongation of Therizinosaurus's claws made digging scenarios generate a large amount of stress, making it unlikely to be used for this purpose. It is more likely these claws would be used to ward off predators, but also be used to hook and pull in vegetation when grazing on leaves and fruits. Therizinosaurus was bipedal, with stocky legs not ideal for running. These legs ended in four-toed feet, an unusual characteristic as most other theropods only had three. This fourth toe was necessary to better distribute its large weight. Much of this weight came from its enormous stomach, which probably looked like a potbelly. This stomach would be used similar to a fermentation chamber, processing the large amount of food such an animal would need to eat. It also had a long neck, at almost 7 feet in length, that carried its fairly small head. The skull had a spiked, beak-like structure ideal for grinding and pulling food before being processed in their bellies. Some suggest that Therizinosaurus had feathers, although there is no direct evidence of this. The lifestyle and relation to feathered dinosaurs would certainly point towards feathers, but depictions of this dinosaur are often split between including feathers or portraying a more scaly appearance. Therizinosaurus lived in Central Asia, with most fossils located in modern-day Mongolia. It lived during the Late Cretaceous, between 70 and 68 million years ago. During this time, Asia was populated with winding rivers surrounded by dense woodlands. It lived alongside other massive herbivores like the Dinochirus and the Sauralophus, as well as contending with the apex predator of the time, Tarbosaurus. The two dinosaurs were similar in size, but the giant claws of Therizinosaurus would be a strong deterrent for predators. The uh, unique appearance of Therizinosaurus has given this creature a few starring roles in pop culture. 2002's Chased by Dinosaurs played into the unknown aspect of Therizinosaurus, building up to the eventual reveal of what this animal was and how it lived. 2022's Jurassic World Dominion also featured Therizinosaurus in the movie and even had the animal appear in the climax of the film. Therizinosaurus has also made smaller appearances in TV shows like 2005's Dinosaur King, video games like 2021's Jurassic World Evolution 2, and documentaries like 2008's Tarbosaurus The Mightiest Ever, and 2022's Prehistoric Planet. Therizinosaurus may be one of the most unusual animals to ever walk the Earth. With a tiny head, massive belly, and claws long enough to skewer anything it needed, Therizinosaurus shows how extreme dinosaurs became towards the end of their era. To those who say nothing compares to the spectacular creatures that live today, trust me, Thera is. That's going to do it for this episode. Thank you so much for watching, and I hope you enjoyed. 
Be sure to leave a comment below what you think of Therizinosaurus, and if you've heard of this dinosaur before the video. We're keeping the strange herbivore train rolling with next week's episode, as we explore the hard-headed Pachycephalosaurus. Thank you for your support, and see you in the next video.